How much longer can we ignore the ticking time bomb that is global warming? What will it take for us to understand the urgency of reducing carbon emissions? The clock is ticking and the time to act is now. We can begin by transitioning to renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and hydropower. These resources are sustainable, abundant, and they do not release harmful carbon emissions. It's a win-win situation for us and our planet. Improving energy efficiency in our homes, industries, and transportation systems is another way to reduce carbon emissions. We can do this by using energy-efficient appliances, insulating our homes properly, and using public transportation or carpooling whenever possible. Electric vehicles and public transportation are not just futuristic concepts, they are practical solutions for today. When we choose these over conventional vehicles, we help cut down on the amount of carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere. And let's not forget about the power of trees. Planting more trees and protecting existing forests can absorb significant amounts of CO2. Trees act as our planet's lungs, breathing in carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen. Sustainable agriculture and reduced meat consumption can also play a significant role. Livestock farming contributes a significant chunk of global greenhouse gas emissions, so opting for plant-based meals can make a big difference. Deforestation and reforestation are two sides of the same coin. We need to limit deforestation while promoting reforestation. It's about preserving what we have and restoring what we've lost. Developing and implementing carbon capture and storage technologies can help us catch carbon before it enters the atmosphere. These technologies are still in their infancy but hold great promise. Reducing waste and promoting recycling and reuse can help lower our carbon footprint. Every item we recycle or reuse means less energy used and fewer emissions produced. Investing in research and development for green technologies can lead to breakthroughs that make our world cleaner and greener. These technologies could revolutionize the way we live and interact with our environment. Setting and enforcing strict emission standards for industries can ensure that businesses play their part in reducing carbon emissions. It's about making sure that everyone is doing their bit. Promoting international cooperation is essential. Climate change is a global problem that requires global solutions. We need to work together, share resources and knowledge to tackle this challenge. Educating the public about the impact of global warming can encourage more people to take action. Knowledge is power. And when people understand the stakes, they are more likely to make environmentally friendly choices. Reducing methane emissions from agriculture and landfills is also crucial. Methane is a potent greenhouse gas, and its reduction can have a significant impact on global warming. Implementing policies to curb HFCs, potent greenhouse gases, can make a big difference. These gases are used in air conditioning and refrigeration, and are many times more potent than carbon dioxide. Supporting climate adaptation strategies for vulnerable communities can help those most affected by climate change. These communities often bear the brunt of climate change, and we need to ensure they have the resources to adapt and survive. Encouraging responsible consumption and lifestyle choices can help us live more sustainably. It's about making choices that are good for us and good for the planet. Addressing global warming requires a comprehensive and sustained effort involving individuals, governments, and businesses worldwide. We all have a role to play, and together, we can make a difference. In conclusion, reducing carbon emissions is not just a choice, it's a necessity. From transitioning to renewable energy, to promoting sustainable agriculture, from limiting deforestation to investing in green technologies, every action counts. The time to act is now, for our planet, for our future.